Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I am collaborating with the beautiful Naomi Boyer. This girl has such a beautiful, effortless California style. She always looks so perfectly put together and I know you guys are going to love her. So over on her channel, she created a video about five fashion items that petite girls should avoid. And over here on my channel, obviously, as the title would suggest, I created a video about five fashion items that tall girls should avoid. Hello everyone, my name is Naomi Boyer. I make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. Everything from hauls to how to style videos, do's and don'ts, tips and tricks, and I also post my daily outfits on Instagram, so hopefully you'll follow along. Thank you guys so much for watching our video, and hope you enjoy. For those of you who don't know, I'm almost 5'10", so I would consider myself to be on the taller side of the spectrum. And over the years, I have discovered certain things that are not so flattering for my height. So if you're like me, and you are a tall girl like me, and you want to know what kind of fashion items that you should avoid, then you'll want to watch this video. But before I hop into the video, I also wanted to let you guys know that Naomi and I have put together a super exciting giveaway for you guys. So considering the crazy climate the world is in right now, we wanted to help two of you guys out and just make you feel a little bit, not only better, but a little bit more secure. So we are doing a giveaway and instead of giving away product, we decided to give away way cash so I'm gonna choose one winner and Naomi's gonna choose one winner and we're each going to give one person some cash to put towards whatever you need whether it's food whether it's your bills your mortgage payment whatever it may be so I really really hope that it will help out and if you guys want to know how to enter this giveaway I'm gonna leave all of that information down below so with that being said let's just hop right in so the first fashion item that I think every tall girl should avoid are those really short Daisy Duke cutoffs. There is absolutely nothing flattering about your butt crack hanging out from the top of your shorts or the bottom of your buttocks hanging out from the bottom of the shorts. Now I love a good denim short or a short in general, especially in the warmer months, but I learned from past experiences that you want to be able to sit comfortably in your shorts without having anything spill out. So the fix for this is to look for shorts that have about an inch or two of extra fabric above your butt crack and another inch or two of extra fabric below the bottom of your buttocks. That way when you sit down or you bend over, you're not gonna be getting into wardrobe malfunction territory. The next fashion item that every tall girl should avoid, and I have to be honest, I'm still guilty of making this mistake, but sometimes I just cannot help it because some pieces are just so freaking cute. And that is wearing super short dresses that borderline look like a shirt on us tall girls. Now, usually I'm really, really good about following this rule, but once in a while, there's a really beautiful dress that I really, really want to wear, and I just try not to bend over in it. So my fix for this, if you are like me and there are certain styles that you really want to wear, but you are a tall girl and they don't have that same dress made for a taller girl, is to just throw on a pair pair of uh, shorts underneath and the type of shorts you want to look for are the really thin kind of either exercise shorts or shape wear shorts that look like exercise shorts. I have a pair of these kinds of shorts in all kinds of different colors. I have them in white, I have them in beige, and I have them in black to make sure that I have all of my options covered because I love to wear short dresses, but I don't love to have a wardrobe malfunction. Another thing we tall girls should probably avoid is rocking a really tiny, small handbag and unless it is a clutch that you are taking out for an evening event. Now, I also think that mini bags like the Jacquemus bags or the super tiny little Lady Dior bags are super, super cute. But if I were to rock a super tiny bag like that on my tall frame, it would just look comical. Now, I'm always about preaching, you do you, you wear whatever makes you 
feel good. But in my personal opinion, I just think that when a tall girl wears a super, super tiny bag, it just puts your proportions out of balance. So try to look for a more medium sized bag. You can even pull off a larger size bag if you have a lot of height. It's all about knowing what works for you and your body type. The next thing I think all tall girls should try to avoid are cropped pants. And the crop pants that I'm specifically talking about are the ones that cut you off at a very awkward place on your leg that makes it look like your pants have been shrunk in the wash. And for a tall girl that usually includes pants that kind of hit you a couple inches above the ankle or a couple inches below the knee. Anything around the mid calf area I would say is leaning towards dangerous territory in my opinion. So when it comes to pants, I try to find pants that hit me no more than an inch above the ankle, especially if the pants are more fitted around the uh, calf area. Otherwise they look like they're way too short for me, but of course there are always exceptions. You just want to make sure that your pants are elegating your legs rather than making them look shorter and stompier. Another cropped style that I would avoid are cropped sleeves. And more specifically, the type of cropped sleeves that I'm talking about are the ones that usually end about here like mid arm and also mid bicep because that also tends to cut off your arm and make your arm look shorter not only shorter but again it looks like whatever top you are wearing was shrunk in the wash so what you want to do is try to look for sleeves that hit at or around the wrist area to prevent your top from looking like it's too short for you and try to avoid sleeves that hit awkwardly along the upper or lower arm area. This sweater is probably not the best example of that, but I assure you when my arms are down, the sleeves hit at or around my wrist level. All right, you guys, so that wraps up today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and learned something new. Again, I wanna thank Naomi for collaborating with me on this video, and don't forget to check out the giveaway instructions in my description box down below. I really hope that you're all doing well and staying safe during this crazy, crazy time, and I'm really hoping that this will all be over soon. As always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me, and I will see you in my next one.